SpaceX now the Biden about face on federal funding of murder. Just yesterday, Joe Biden was for the Hyde Amendment, which prevents federal tax dollars from funding abortion. Today, after feeling immense pressure and heat from the radicals within his party, joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, it shows how radical the modern Democrat party is. This is not just about abortion and federal funding for abortion. This is also about Medicare for all and free college, et cetera, et cetera. It's pure socialism. And Joe Biden was shamed into this change of position. Yeah, there, that's a really good point, Graham. And I've got a few others. Uh, number one, he's been a supporter of the Hyde Amendment, forget this, 40 years. Um, as of yesterday, he was still a supporter of the Hyde Amendment. So the curious question is what happened? Well, two things. Number one, the Democratic Party has run way away from his position, all the way off the cliff on the left. And he was the only candidate still running for office in favor of the Hyde Amendment. That separation wasn't polling well at all among the very progressive wing of the Democrat Party. Here's the Here's the funny part. According to stories that are now out this morning, uh, earlier today, get this, Alyssa Milano of Who's the Boss fame yeah. supposedly contacted Biden campaign staff and lobbied heavily for Biden to change his mind. And the staff put pressure on Biden to do that. Mm -hmm. So the question today, Graham, who's the boss now? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the answer to that equation to me. Go shoot a movie in Georgia. If you're pro-life, go support movie making and forget about LA and Hollywood and Alyssa Milano and all the others. Go shoot a movie in, in Georgia. Now, the mainstream media is out there, of course, trying to protect Joe Biden and attack Donald Trump. Classic example of fake news is McClatchy and this report that they came up with out of thin air, just hoping and praying that it's true that Donald Trump is sustaining some sort of disconnection in rural, whatever that is, rural America. You know, the flyover states, uh, which is the whole middle of the country, not New York, California, Oregon, or Washington, uh, is what elected Donald Trump president, which is why he carried 99% of all the counties in America. I sincerely doubt that the McClatchy poll makes any sense when you factor in the presidential election. What they're looking at is the midterms when Donald Trump was not on the ballot. Right. And similarly, uh, when Obama ran uh, in his second term, even though he had not done well in polling during the midterms, he killed it in his reelection, and probably the same thing will happen. Don't forget, in the midterms, people are voting for the non-presidential elections for Congress and the Senate. Trump was not at issue, and as a result, those people didn't turn out the same ones that are turning out in 40, 50, and 60,000 for every Trump rally when Joe Biden, his leading opponent, is pulling 400 in a high school gym. Let's see when they poll those people what happens. Speaking of poll, the Public Policy Institute in California did a poll and asked the approval uh, of, of, of Donald Trump versus the approval of the California legislature. <laughs> Fascinating result. Oh, my goodness. Now, you got to remember, California is the most progressive left wing state. It is so left wing. They have a super majority in the legislature in Sacramento of Dems. In other words, Republicans can't get anything through. Right. You've got a Democrat again for many years in the uh, governor's office. You've got the control of the House and the Senate. And those people are so unpopular in their own state. Donald Trump, who will lose the election for president in 2020, one minute after the polls close, they will already have the announcement that whoever's on the Democrat ticket will win. In spite of that, Donald Trump is more popular in California than the people that the Californians elected to serve them in Sacramento. That's how much they don't like their own representatives within the state border. That's really, really unsettling if you're somebody in that legislature thinking, hey, look at the great job I'm yeah. doing for California. My people love me. The truth is they really don't. The truth is delicious. 36% approval for the California <laughs> legislature, 
38 percent for the president of the United States. Who knows? Maybe there's hope for California after all. <laughs> Barry, thanks.